Hello friends, welcome. Welcome to this presentation from Rising Pro. I'm a friend, your host Roy. This is series one where we're discussing real numbers. Today is episode number six. Today we are going to learn finding some number properties using Euclid's division lemma or algorithm. In the last two episodes, we have looked at how can we find out HCF using Euclid's division lemma. Today, in this webisode, we are going to learn about some of the solving some number properties using Euclid's division lemma. So friends, let's first have a quick recap of what is Euclid's division lemma or algorithm. So Euclid's division lemma or algorithm states that given two positive integers a and b, any two positive integers a and b, there exists two unique integer. There will be two unique integer namely q and r such that they satisfy this equation which is a equals b times q plus r where q is greater than or equal to 0 and r will be greater than or equal to 0 but less than b. Now friends this is nothing but long division in a form of an equation. We have seen these in our earlier episodes. Now let's talk about what kind of number property questions are we looking to solve using Euclid's division lemma? So the first question or first type of question I should say is show every positive even integer is of the form 2m for some integer m. Second type of question show any positive odd integer is of the form 6n plus 1 or 6n plus 3 or 6n plus 5 for some integer n. And the last one is show that square of any positive integer is of the form 3p or 3p plus 1 for some integer p. Now friends, I am trying to highlight here the different type of number property questions that you may find that may come up. Now, so the moment you see these kind of questions, you will scratch your head and you will be confused because we all will be confused. First of all, in any of these type of questions, whether it is this question or this question, these type of questions, if you notice, it is not mentioned anywhere that we have to use Euclid's division lemma. So if the question were written as, using Euclid's division lemma, show every positive even integer is of the form this. At least that way we will be able to relate this question to Euclid's division lemma. So think about few months down the year where you have learned polynomials, trigonometry, arithmetic progression, so on and so forth. At that time during your mid-year or end of the year, if you get a question like this, it is very difficult to relate these questions to Euclid's division lemma. And second, even if you understand that this question is related to Euclid's division lemma, how do we actually solve it? So that is where I'm going to guide you to how we are going to use Euclid's division lemma to solve these questions. So let's take a look at the first question. Question one states that show every positive even integer is of the form 2m for some integer m. So show every positive even integer is of the form 2m where m is any integer. So first friends, you know that Euclid's division lemma states that for any integer a and b, there exist two other integers we just saw, which is integer q and r such that integer q can be greater than or equal to 0 and integer r will be greater than or it can be greater than or equal to 0 but it will be 1 less than b right so first thing that you have to remember how to solve this question is that this number which is in front of the general form of integer so here for some integer m we are trying to show something. So you look at this particular integer, which is 2 here, this particular integer, that will be your b, 
in Euclid's division lemma. So you are going to say that for any integer a, for any integer a and b equal to 2, because we have 2 here, for any integer a and b equal to 2, we can say that a equal to 2 times q plus r. Now, instead of using Q, remember that Q is for question, R is for remainder, but it is just a general form of representation. Q and R can be any value. We can use any variable name to show Q and R because in the question I have M, so I'm going to use M. So, A equal to 2M plus R such that the value of M can be greater than or equal to 0 and R will be greater than or equal to 0 but less than now less than here in this case b is 2 so it will be less than 2 so if you look at the value of r if you look at the value of r so what are the possible values of r so r can be 0 or it can be 1 so i can have r equal to 0 or i can have r equal to 1 so then Let's rewrite our Euclid's uh, uh, division lemma equation again. So I can write A is equal to 2M plus, first let's put R equal to 0. That is, this is, this is going to come out as 2M, right? This is one way we can write this. And the second way is, I have A equal to 2M plus 1 because r is 1. So these are two ways I can expand this. Now remember what is m? m is any integer which is greater than or equal to 0. So m will be 1, it can be 0 or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 like that. right? So now if you look at this particular representation a equals to 2m and here if you substitute the values, different values of m so for m equal to 0, 2m will be 0. m equal to 1, it will be 2 times 1, which is 2. m equal to 2, it will be 2 times 2, which is which is going to be 4. m equal to 3, it will be 6. So we notice that for any value of m, this form, a equal to 2m, this one will be always a, this will be always a even number. Now what about this one? For any value of m, if m, so we just saw that for any value of m, this one will be even. So if you add 1 to an even number, it will become odd. So we see that only this form, a equal to 2m, for any value of m will be always even. So again, if you look at the question, show every positive even integer is of the form 2m for any given integer m. So we just proved that a equals to 2m will be indeed even for any m. So friends, this is how you solve these questions. Now let's see how you're going to write this in your exam. So you're going to write it something like this. So let a be any positive integer and b equal to 2. By Euclid's division algorithm, we can write a equal to 2m plus r for some integer m greater than or equal to 0 and r will be r will be so we should have 0 here r is greater than or equal to 0 but less than 2 so r will be 0 or 1 so a can be 2m plus 0 or 2m or a equal to 2m plus 1 for any given integer m equal to greater than or equal to 0 a equal to 2m is always even we just saw that and similarly for any given integer m equal to greater than or equal to 0 this will be always odd so, we can say any positive even integer is going to be always of the form 2m for any given integer m. So, friends, I am going to now show you the next question and let's see how do we tackle this question, which was our question number 2. Show any positive odd integer is of the form 6n plus 1 or 6n plus 3 or 6n plus 5 for some integer n. So in this case, you are saying that instead of, uh, you know, this variable that they have used here is n. In the last example, it was m. So it doesn't really matter if it is 
m or n or p or q. So let's see how do we start. So again, what we are going to do is we are going to say according to Euclid's division lemma, a is any integer, any uh, positive integer, but b for b we want to use what value? We are going to use b equal to six. I have explained to you earlier because we are looking at the general integer variable uh, which is n and we are looking at what is the multiple what is the number which is multiplied to the general integer variable so in this case general integer variable is n and it is 6n right so this gives us the clue of what should be b so using uh, euclid's lemma we can say so a equal to so the normal equation is a equal to b times q plus r so we are going to write this as a equals to 6 times instead of writing q we are going to write n plus r such that what is n n is basically any integer greater than or equal to 0 right and r will be any integer which will be greater than or equal to 0 but less than b which is 6 it means going by this r can have what values r can be 0 1 2 3 4 or 5 remember r can be 0 1 2 3 4 5 it cannot be 6 right so now what we have to do is we have to look at this equation and see how we can write this equation for all possible values of r so we can say a equal to 6n plus 0 which is going to be just 6n then we will have a equal to 6n plus 1 we will have a equal to 6n plus 2 we will have a equal to 6n plus 3 a equal to 6n plus 4 and finally a equal to 6n plus 5. So these are the different possible ways we can write a given that b is 6 right so these are possible remainders. Now 6n 6n plus 0 is 6n right now what is n n is nothing but any integer greater than or equal to 0 so basically n is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 so if you put n equal to 0 this is going to be 0 n equal to 1 this will be 6 n equal to 2 this will be 12 so for any value of n this one will be always even right because you can also write 6n as nothing but 2 multiply by 3n so if you multiply 2 with anything you will always get even so 6n format is always even similarly you can show that 6n plus 1 can be written as 2 times 3n plus 1 so because this will be always even if you add 1 to an even number this will be always odd so this representation will be always odd now let's look at this one 6n plus 2 so for this one we can write this as 2 we can take common so it will become 3n plus 1 again no matter what you take for n you multiply any integer with 2 you will always get even right what about this one for this one we can take 3 common and we can write this as 2n plus 1 now let's look at this one so for n equal to uh, let's see for n equal to even numbers what happens so if n is 0 so let's do this here so for n equal to 
0 2 4 let's find out what happens here so n equal to 0 so 2 0 is a 0 plus 1 so this so 3 times 1 is 3 so for n so similarly n equals 2 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5 so 5 3 is a 15 so for n equal to 0 this is even but this one makes it odd so 3 multiplied by odd number is odd so if n is even this expression is odd right this expression is giving us odd will be always odd now for if n is odd so if i do n 1 3 5 so if i put n equal to 1 then this one is going to be 1 2 1s are 2 plus 1 3 3 3 is a 9. So, no matter what we take for n, this is always odd and odd multiplied by 3 is odd. So, this will be always odd. So, we found out another representation which will be always odd. So, for this one we can take 2 common and we can write this as 3n plus 2. And again, if you multiply any number by 2, you are going to get an even number. This will be an even number. And then finally, let's take a look at this one. So here, no matter what you take for n, we can write the same thing as three multi uh, 2 multiply by 3n plus 5. So this one will be always even number. Plus 5 will make it odd. So we see that of all the different representations, these are the three representations 6n plus 1, 6n plus 3, 6n plus 5 which will give us always odd positive odd integers. So again look at the question show any positive odd integer is of the form 6n plus 1 which is our 6n plus 1, 6n plus 3 which is a 6n plus 3 and then 6n plus 5 which is 6n plus 5. So friends in this one I am not writing how you have to actually uh, write it up during the test but I want you to do it by yourself you take a look at the last example example one that I showed you so similarly you can go ahead and write this up so in the next video I'm going to talk about the question number three which is what about squares of numbers and how we can use Euclid's division lemma to show those number properties thanks for watching